So the other day, OpenAI dropped some huge news, including the fact that you can now create your own custom GPTs. A custom GPT is like a version of ChatGPT that specializes in doing one thing really, really well, and you don't even need any code to build it. They even announced that they're going to be paying a portion of their revenue to people who make the most useful or the most used GPTs. So right now is the perfect opportunity to create something fun or really useful. I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's jump right in. To get started working on your custom GPT, you're just going to go to the standard ChatGPT website, chat.openai.com. When you open up the left hand side, you'll actually see there's a new section over here where you can explore these various custom GPTs. So we'll click that explore button. And you do need to have a ChatGPT Plus account to access this, so keep that in mind as you're exploring. All right, so here we are on the GPT discovery page. There are some GPTs that have already been made by the ChatGPT team, and I've made a couple of GPTs just playing around. So to get started, you're gonna hit this button, create a GPT, and then you just chat with this GPT builder and it will help walk you through the whole creation process. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Let's make an app that matches people to pets given their image. So as you have the conversation, it'll actually configure your GPT and you can see the progress on the configure tab. Well, that's not too bad. Let's go with perfect pets. All right, it's going to create a profile picture for my GPT. Let's see what it comes up with. Yeah, sure, that works. Afterwards, the GPT builder is gonna ask me some questions to fine tune my application and make sure that the GPT works the way I actually want it to. I can head over to the configure tab. I can see my image, the name, there's a description. And these are the instructions that the GPT builder came up with based on all of the responses that I gave it. You could theoretically just go to the configure tab and set all of this up on your own without having that conversation, but it does seem to know what works well for these GPTs. So I think it's a good idea to start with the conversation and then edit the instructions afterwards. Since this is a really basic GPT, it's not gonna need any knowledge or have any actions that it needs to take. I'll be covering these slightly more advanced features in a different video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that. All right, let's take Giorgio Tokolos and see what kind of pet this thing will suggest for him. <laughs> How about a cockatoo? These birds are known for their dynamic crests and entertaining personality, just like a certain someone's hairstyle we see here. Look at that, that's pretty good. <laughs> That's great. Wow, that is quite a wild cockatoo. I'll take it. So there we have it. A perfect pet for Giorgio Tsoukalos. A rainbow cockatoo, apparently. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're happy with the way that this GPT is working, we can go up to the top right corner and we can save this. You can make it private for yourself, you can give people a link, or you can make it public. So to be able to publish it publicly, you'll have to go and edit your builder profile and you can either use your name or you can use a website that you authenticate with ChatGPT. Alternatively, you can publish it anonymously as a community builder. If we ever wanna go back and edit this GPT, you can just click over here in the top left, go to edit, and then you can configure everything that you want or you can just chat with the GPT builder and it'll help you figure it out. Let's check out what kind of pet it recommends for me. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. I actually have two cats, so this is perfect. In the description, I left a link to this custom GPT, so go ahead and give it a try, and I'd love to hear what it recommends for you, so make sure to drop a comment. Now you're equipped to make your own custom GPT, but what about knowledge sources, and what about actions? If you want to learn more about these advanced custom GPT features, you should check out this video. And if you want to know about some of the other things that are possible with OpenAI's new announcement, check out this one instead. I hope to see you there. Take care.